phase two. So do now is kind of phase one. Phase two is exposition, I believe. Do you want to talk us through this? Yeah. So this is this is the the scene setting. This is right. What are we doing today? This is where you can bring in some rich stories, wonderful context, links to past learning, future learning. Let them know how they're going to be successful today. I don't by that mean write down a learning objective or something, but just just explain to them what what success looks like. Um, what are we doing today? Is there any new vocab we need to go through? Um, well, I wouldn't always do vocab here. God, we could spend half an hour talking about vocab <laughs> for a bit. But I, I think sometimes words are introduced with no context yeah. and there's no point. And I think sometimes it's worth doing the process and then doing the word afterwards. But this might be the right time sometimes to introduce maybe the, uh, a word or two. Um, so in, in this particular instance, um, this was linking what they can already do, which is which is numerical multiplication and, and the link to areas. The fact that two times 13 is the same as two times brackets 10 plus three, which is the same as two brackets 10 times uh, 10 plus three, um, which can be represented in a in a grid in, a, in an area model. And then the other half of this slide was was the same, but any time there was a 10, it was replaced by an X. So it was talking through what we're doing today, how it links to what they what they already know, but but broadly there could be time for add, adding more context and 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 more stories and and more key vocabulary around this idea. Okay, this is interesting. So a couple of things on this: would it be wrong to kind of? I'm interested in the role the kids are playing in this. Is this very much kind of teacher led? Are you cold calling kids? Oh. How's that coming into play? Yeah, this is me talking. And me assuming that no one's listening. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. This is this is things that I think are important to front load, um, and I'm going to check their understanding later. That, that's coming up shortly. Okay. But I'm talking at them for a bit, not for very long. Um, but I'm, I'm framing this lesson, and I'm trying to make sure that they're they're looking forward, they're paying attention, uh, and, and all those things. But uh, yeah, this might be sixty kids, thirty kids looking at you, smiling. Yeah. Okay. Maybe or maybe not paying attention. All right, okay. And are you, I assume, maybe if it's appropriate, showing an image, showing a you know historical background. Is this what kind of Christine yeah. Jones would call the hinterland kind of knowledge part of the lesson? Are you happy with that phrase for this? Um, well, I'm happy with hinterland being a part of this. Yes, uh, alongside success criteria, alongside right, what it, okay. you know what what we're doing today, alongside vocabulary, just all, all the stuff you need before the next the next. The next slide is me modeling. Yeah. So all that scene setting, which includes hinterland, but is not exhaustively hinterland. Okay, got it. And I guess the answer to this is just going to be depends, because I was going to ask how long does this take, but would you, <laughs> oh, we're not talking more than five minutes, I take it. It's fairly snappy, is it? I don't think so. If there's a great video or something to show or, or a really good story behind it, then maybe on occasion, but but typically no. Would you be able to, yeah, so obviously sure, you've talked sorry. about um, expanding single brackets in, in this. Would you be able to just, I'm putting you on the spot here, but just pick perhaps a, another topic or one or two, or what have been some of your favorite things you've done in this 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 exposition? <sighs> do you know why a meter is as long as a meter is? Definitely not, no, I do not, but I'm straight in here, go on. Yeah, isn't that fascinating? So it used to be the case that beforehand, um, when people were using uh, measurements for things, mostly for, for tax purposes. How big is your land? How much stuff do you have? They would use the the length of sort of royal body parts, arms, legs, hands, feet, all, all those things. Um, but then when international trade became more more commonplace, what are you going to do? Because your king's arms bigger than my queen's foot, and all these things. We need we need a common thing we can agree on. Um, so the French luckily had an idea. What is the thing that we all share? Because we can't use any one monarch because the other countries will kick off. So what do we all share? Um, well, we all share the planet Earth. Let's agree on that. So let's call a meter whatever it is you need a million of to get from the equator to the North Pole. Wow. Whatever we need a million of to do that, we'll, we'll call a meter. Can we agree on that? Oh, that all seems fine. They did some measuring. They messed up somewhere around Spain, I think, but so, so it's not quite right. But it's roughly 10,000 kilometers um, because they said that that's why a meter is a meter. Um, and then we agreed and we said, OK, that, that'll do. 
And now it's defined by, because the Earth's not a perfect sphere, we use fractions of the speed of light in a vacuum and all those things. But the original meter was to, was to agree as, as a continent on, on a standard way of measuring something. Isn't that a wonderful That's story? Lovely. People should know. That, is, uh, um, that, is, that is lovely. And I'll tell you what, just, just on that, I saw a lovely piece of exposition um, in a lesson I was watching about two weeks ago. And it was on, um, the lesson was on prime fact of factorization. And the, the, the teacher, she was an ECT, she started telling this story before onto the modeling. I'm shaking my head thinking, surely that cannot be true. And she said, and maybe, maybe this is common knowledge, Craig, maybe you're going to think this is the most obvious thing you've ever heard. She said that there used to be a lot of debate whether one was a prime number or not. And it was only resolved in something like 1920 or something. I'm like, no. Anyway, she fires up this newspaper article about how they've now decided that one is definitely not a prime number. And what was brilliant about it, it was brilliant for two reasons, right? So the kids were really engaged in it. They were, they were loving this chat about a bit of controversy, mathematicians all kicking off and stuff. So you're absolutely loving that. But then, I've been lucky to be been in this school since, they all remember now that one's definitely not a prime number because they've remembered mm. this, they remember this story. It was really, really good. So it, would it be fair, just again, to kind of s summarize this exposition, it's, and I can only talk from my own experience and, and reading kind of, as I say, Christine Council's work on this, where it's, it's not, the kids don't have to be listening to every single detail like they would do perhaps when you're modeling. And you don't, it's more about the kind of narrative structure. It's more about engagement. It's more about setting things in terms of a kind of wider context to tee them up for the more kind of, you know, granular, focused kind of modeling that's about to happen. Would that be a fair kind of summation of, of what this phase of your lesson's about? Yeah, 100%. It might be a good time to say that I, I've written all this down. I wrote, I wrote a department handbook um, when I was no longer head of department. So it was for a fictitious uh, math nice. department where I've gone through as well all these phases and I've explained like what the purpose of it is what the planning is involved for it, what teachers should be doing at this stage and what students should be doing at this stage. And each one fits on like a one page right. document. Um, and I'll share oh, that with you amazing. after as well. And um, I should have said as well at the start, you're, you're okay to share the slides for this um, expanding brackets thing as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'll yeah. put that in the intro. That's People amazing. want to, uh, you know, click along. Oh, yeah. Podcast. Let's get interactive. That's great. And I'll tell you a question <laughs> I should have asked you as well, Craig. And again, I know the answer to this is going to be intense, but just to get it out there. Um, <laughs> roughly, how far through the lesson do you reckon we are now? How, in your dreamland, how long's do now taken, and how long's exposition taken? How, how far through do you reckon we are here? Oh, we're not very far. Do now is four minutes. Wow, to and we're that's quick. That's two minutes reviewing. Good. Um, exposition is, is maybe two minutes. Okay. So we're, we're I guess, a bit time to set up at the start. Let's say we're ten, ten minutes, minutes in. All right, love it. Okay, amazing. Anything else to say about exposition? Or are we happy to happy to move on? Uh, let's move All on. All right, let's do it. Right. <laughs>